Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, so do you get the script? Uh, do you get all the scripts first? Then... No, we get each script a, l- a little ways out. So um, usually not any more than a week out from when we're going to record. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Adam's writing as we're producing. And what's nice now is that we're in our season, our first season. I think there's a little bit more leisure. Not leisure time. It's not like it's ever relaxed. But I think we have a, a more of an expanded production season. So we get Adam a little bit more time to write. We get a little bit more time to record. It's been nice. And wherever you are, you can just go to like a... Yeah. I did a I did a series last year in Canada and I I recorded all my stuff from up there. So yeah, that's one of the great things about this show. It's very flexible. I've recorded in New York, I've recorded in Atlanta, I've recorded in LA, and I've recorded in Toronto. So, yeah. Before Archer, I'm sorry. Before Archer, what was your experience with voice acting? Um, what was my experience with voice acting prior? Uh, I did a couple of one-offs. Um, I think the, the most well-known episode. I did an episode of the Boondocks called uh, "Attack of the Color Kung Fu Fitch." So. Uh, that's a very popular episode to this day. People come in on it all the time. And uh, I did some uh, some other, like, kind of smaller stuff, but this has really been the most immersive experience for sure. Yeah. So do you do your lines for yourself? Yeah, we're all isolated. We're all separate, yeah. And so, in fact, we've never recorded as a team or even as a pair. Yeah. How hard is that to, I mean, you have to react to something that's not there. Yeah, you know, I've done a lot of live action acting, so I'm, I'm able to use my imagination. <laughs> but then also, you know, Adam is all, and everybody does it, everybody's method is totally different. As far as as far as I know, every other actor could be going back and forth with Adam on the other line or Casey on the other line with the other pieces on the show. I don't work that way. I take each line and I attack it over and over again until I say something, I say it in a way that I think is funny. And my goal is mainly just to make Adam laugh. I mean, he's written, he's written it really is what I know to tap out if I say it a bunch of times until I hear him laugh on the other line. And if I can make him laugh at something he then I, then I won, yeah. Totally. Has there been anything that you've read in the script that you just couldn't believe that they did? What surprised you the most? What episode? I am a stand-up comedian, and I also ran a writer's room on Talk to. There's nothing that shocks me. Um, I've spoken, I've talked about poop for hours with other people, so... Um, uh, yeah, no, nothing is that shocked me in the sense of like I can't say this or I can't do this. But uh, definitely stuff that I was like, I don't know if we're gonna, if it, how are we going to get away with this. There have been those, but I think like season one, actually the very first season, the very first episode, episode started before, the very first episode, uh, Adam and I got in a not an argument, but like a semantic discussion about what a, a, what was funnier ball slappiest or ball slappinest and we had like a 20 minute conversation about it and I was like yeah this is pretty much like the TV show I want to make for the rest of my life <laughs> so um, there was an episode there was a, there was an ad for the show in season one where Archer is smoking next to a pregnant woman and she says do you mind and he says maybe after you have the baby if you're not all stretched out and I was like wow that was pretty hardcore <laughs> that was pretty hardcore uh, but uh, but other than that no no the show is delightful and I wish we were dirtier <laughs> how'd you get in the voice I was just approached I mean um, I don't know how Adam knew me other than he just knew me as a comedian and as a comedic actress but um, I just was sent this script and asked if I wanted to do it um, I read the script and it was hilarious that was it I mean I read 10 pages of the script it was really really funny it was really mature it was a combination of really erudite thoughtful literary and disgustingly dirty and that was the selling point for me absolutely and I've been offered other animated stuff I don't I don't know I don't do anything just because it's a job you know what I mean this is a specific show and a specific character and a specific approach to comedy that is really very close to the way that I approach comedy um, and whenever people go what's your stand up going to be like I'm like if you watch Archer you know what kind of comedy I do it's, it's really that nice. it's a very similar kind of adult smart thoughtful mature you know approach to making people laugh and um, so yeah I've been offered a lot of other animations that I haven't done but this and also the Boondocks which is another really really smart dirty show I don't know why I keep saying dirty but you know what I'm a grown up and a camel so <laughs> yeah do you want to input into your character then because you're kind of no I mean it's a pretty perfect show when we get it you know sometimes I pitch stuff sometimes I pitch lines he's really playful so he'll say why don't you take do you have anything you want to pitch here I'll say can I try something but generally the scripts are great when they come so um, we don't do a lot of pitching but he will just say hey you want to like, talk around a little bit and then we'll do that 